All right, let's get started on this, and I'll, I'll uh, take you through this, and we're going to have a little fun later. Um, I'm going to show you some things that we've, that we've done. <clears throat> I'm going to run through some stuff in the group because it'll give me a chance to, to address some things that may be helpful. Um, Emma had an issue not being able to find this at the very, very end of the last webinar. I had made the, I had changed the size of my screen. And I said, if you ever can't find something, change the size of your screen. Always remember that. Um, if you're, if you're having trouble finding something and th it's interesting because the conversation that broke out about this is that just does it randomly. No, it doesn't when your screen's the wrong size. Uh, and and I, I don't mean to be rude about that, but 99% of the time when something goes wrong, it's a process issue. You're skipping something in the process. You've got something turned on that you didn't know about. Uh, something's happening. Very rarely, very rarely is it anything else. Um, <clears throat> so Emma was able to get this resolved. It was great. Uh, and we'll talk about the, why she was looking for the layer tools in just a little bit. <clears throat> the next thing was this. Uh, Jeffrey had asked this question about the, um, about the past webinars. Yeah, I'll show you how to change the size of your screen when we get to that step in the, in the process, because that's the reason, it's one of the reasons why I had it up here was so I wanted, I wanted people to know how to do that. Um, Jeffrey had asked this question and he, this was interesting. He said, um, you, you had, you said you run out of time. I couldn't remember what it was that he'd said. So I go, went back and went through all, and I do this a lot, went back and went through all of the chat sessions trying to figure out what it was that I might have missed. And I believe, and I think he addresses that next. And I believe what it was, was the ISO creator. I really want to be able to demo that the week that I was going to do that. I had access to it since that time. I haven't had access to it, but that brings me to the kind of the next thing here. Um, Rose has addressed this issue. Uh, what happened was on the most recent update of um, of the iOS for uh, a MacBook, <coughs> the uh, that conflicted with Adobe Air, and uh, there was a fix for that, and the fix got put out. And, um, and, and our development team was able to take that fix and incorporate it into, uh, into the ISO creator. That's been available for about the last five days. I just haven't been able to do it yet. I thought I might do that live with everyone, um, but I really, I, I don't, I, that's a little stressful to do that. And so I probably won't. I'll probably plan to do the ISO creator I haven't I struggle with whether I do that um, as a separate webinar or if I do it in this webinar. Um, tell me in the chat, give me your opinion. Do you want me to do a separate webinar on the ISO creator uh, at a different time? <coughs> it'll have to be at a different time. If I do a, a separate webinar on that, it'll have to be at a different time. So tell me, yes, if you want me to do it on this Friday in this space, or not this Friday, but next Friday, um, or if you want me to do it at a different time. Because not everybody has that. And I don't want to take people's time up to go through that if we don't have it. It looks like it looks like um, the vast majority of you would prefer to have that as a separate webinar. Y'all just love to add to my workload, I can tell. But um, <clears throat> all right, so what we'll do is we'll do that as a separate webinar. Uh, no, it's not just for Mac. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. The 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 thing that kept me from being able to access uh, the ISO creator was the fact that this upgrade had happened to the Mac operating system, and so for me as a Mac user, it was blocking me from being able to use the ISO creator. That's what the problem was, and it was affecting the whole Z suite. Uh, for those people who had updated, and I just automatically upgrade every time a, a new operating system comes out. That one had a ton of bugs in it uh, and and needed to address some issues. So anyhow. <clears throat> okay, so I'll, I'll take a look at the, the comments that you put in here. Um, and, and later, and I'll, 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 I'll make it, I'll make an announcement soon about that. I've talked to Bertrand about it a couple of times. And so I wanted to make sure that I was functioning. I didn't have the functionality, everything that operated with Mac 
uh, uh, with Adobe Air shut down for me. I couldn't use anything with Adobe Air. So <clears throat> fortunately, that didn't affect Uzine, but it did affect the other stuff. Uh, Jesse, yes, the meeting has started and you should be able to see. If not, you might want to refresh your screen and see if that's if that's the problem. The next thing is, Elle had done this. This was pretty creative. Um, she had taken this image right here and then created this little, little video incorporating the same brand colors into this. I, I kind of like the way she has layered her image on top of the other one. Worked out really well. And she gave kind of a step-by-step walkthrough here. <clears throat> in which she talked about exactly what she did to create this process right here uh, using this background and so on. Uh, really good discussion here and a really, really good way uh, for you to be able to follow that process. Now, I want to address one other thing here. <clears throat> Somebody had asked her, if she could create a step-by-step -step video on how to do this. I, I appreciate people asking that question in the group, but that's not always people's cup of tea uh, or the thing that they're going to do. Um, I, I really appreciate people sharing their stuff in here, but don't expect them to do a whole lot of work for you. Uh, she gave the very detailed instructions right here. So I'm kind of coming to her defense uh, just because I, I thought it was awesome, but but don't don't change it. Don't 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 change the awesomeness of this by adding additional uh, additional layers of, of stuff to somebody who's just volunteering their 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 work. OK, just just that's just a personal thing. But it, you see a lot of that. Uh, this is actually in the group. <clears throat> you will see this in the in the Facebook group, uh, the designers Facebook group, uh, of which you are a member, Larry. Uh, but that's where that's where that's at. I always go through the stuff in the group just because I think it's important that people know what's happening there and that we can kind of call out and we can we can give it we can address issues that happen in the group and we can address other things like that. So on. And then the final thing I'm going to say about that is. Again, just repeating this over and over again, please be patient, P please be patient. Yeah, exactly. Join me. Just make it a pleasure to share. Um, make it don't don't make it uncomfortable for people. Make it a pleasure to share. And I appreciate that. That's exactly what I'm trying to say, Joy. Um, so thank you. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. But just be patient right now. Systems are, are grossly overwhelmed. Uh, support systems are overwhelmed. Listen, we've got way more people online now than we've ever had. And um, and, and so. Uh, we just have to work through those issues the best that we possibly can. Uh, I don't, I've never been busier than I am right now. Uh, I've never in my life been busier than I am right now. Um, <clears throat> nothing else has changed, but just the volume of people who are asking questions, um, This is just, it's just the volume of stuff that's happening uh, <clears throat> can slow things down. So just really be patient, uh, be be humane with each other. And uh, I see some people being really ugly in other groups, not in our group, but in our other groups. So just be, just, just be understanding right now until we kind of get things back to a, a better question. So this was the, this was what I talked about last week and I didn't have the image. So I went and found the image and I brought it back. <clears throat> this was my question. This was the question that was posed to me right after I got used. Like, can you make this a cover? Can you make this a cover? Well, what's the problem with making that a cover? If you've been on previous webinars, you know, you know what the what the answer to that question is. <clears throat> What's the problem with making this a cover? Yes, it's a it's a landscape image. It's laying horizontal. The format of it it doesn't make it doesn't doesn't make it conducive to a cover. What you might end up with is a cover taken out like this. But um, 
but that wasn't the intention. The question was, can you make this a cover? And if you remove any portion of this, then you miss this whole tight wire act here, okay? So <clears throat> my first project, my first paid project in Uzine was the question, can you make this a cover? That was my first one, all right? This was the result. What do you think about that? <clears throat> Is it perfect? Not exactly, but it works. And I was able to capture the image and accomplish this, okay? <coughs> so that is, um, but there's more to that story than just, can you make this a cover? And so I did. And that Friday, um, I was on a webinar and Bertram was doing the training on that webinar. And he said, if there's anybody on that would like to, at some point, do these webinars for us, would you please let me know? And so I, he said, I want a one minute video. And I took this and made this in a one minute video. And um, that's how I ended up doing these webinars. All right. So that was in the fall of 2015. Been doing them ever since. <laughs> and here we are. So that was my point was I, I want to be able to take this turn it into this. I'm going to show you how the process that we did to do that uh, last week. And here we are. So the final thing I want to show you from the agenda is this. And that is I go back and go through the questions that people have asked that I don't think you gave an answer to. And um, there are a couple here. How do you find pixels? And I'm going to show you that. Uh, I did I did show you how to find the pixels inside of Uzine, but there's another pixel tool that we use frequently when we're trying to set a fixed Im a fixed si image size and i'll show you where to find that at as well uh, the next question was what about moving tiny images and my answer to that is there's a problem with tiny images does anybody know what the problem is with tiny images this may help me with this one while i get a drink of coffee here so i can talk They're tiny, exactly, Sharon. The problem with tiny images is they're tiny. So a <clears throat> couple of options that you have with a tiny image because they're tiny, um, and I'll, I'll talk about them just a little bit. As, but, but the biggest problem is they're tiny. Uh, and, and because they're tiny, uh, they become very, very difficult to move around. And then Art had asked me about posting images in the group. Uh, I said I would do that. I found it to be, um, I, I, unfortunately, what I've been doing, and I do this all the time, because if you could see my desktop, I have thousands of images that get dropped on my desktop over the course of a week. And uh, going back and finding them is a little bit hard, okay? The size that I consider tiny is when they're too tiny to move. I know that seems ridiculous, <coughs> but when they get too tiny to move, they're tiny. And then finally, we're just going to turn the last half of the webinar into a what questions do you have or ask me anything uh, so that we, we can get caught up because I think we want to do a, a, a reset on the branding uh, webinar. Um, and, uh, but this has been fun. I needed to get back and do some Uzine stuff. And, uh, and, and I, again, um, the question about replays and the question about a lot of those things, as we get closer and closer to the time when we're going to transition out of, uh, this style Uzine platform to the HTML5 platform, which is going to be very different. I, I don't, I, I'm not going to focus a lot of attention on upgrading all of the, uh, training 
videos to do that. But <clears throat> not going to focus a lot of attention on on that until we get to that next step. Um, every platform I'm working on has gone through a transition uh, in the last three months. And when you go through that transition, then you realize that all the work that I did last month is now gone completely good forever finale. And that's a little bit challenging, particularly when we have very, very taxing times going on right now. Okay, so let me stop sharing this screen here and um, <clears throat> and we'll move to the next thing. I apologize for the cough. I can't seem to shake this thing. I've had it for a couple of months. And um, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Jump back over here. And Give me just a moment. I had been logged in and something happened that logged me out. Here we go. All right, let me know if you're seeing my designer screen or use design screen. Uh, too many things to end in R. <clears throat> okay, what we're going to do with this is we're going to take um, that image that I had and we're going to play with it, okay? So I'm going to create a new design. In this case, I'm going to use the product image size that we have. We talked about product images last week and product cover images last week, uh, just a little bit. And um, But I'm going to use just our standard product image here. But again, if you're doing this for any any other any other platform, uh, make sure that you use the size of the cover that that platform requires, not that uh, Uzine said. Okay, always make sure that you do that. Uh, and if you if you if you don't know, find out first before you start your creation because it'll be a lot better for you if you do it that way. Okay, <clears throat> but we're going to use the product cover here, and uh, and this addresses the pixel thing again right here. This is where you find the height and the width of this. This is 1130 by 1500. We have a tool and let's see, I have it saved up here. And that's the other thing is if somebody gives you um, uh, some, well, it's going to be a six by nine, okay? Or something like that. Then what you have to do is you have to convert those pixels. Um, and we have a pixel converter that we use a lot. Are you getting a black screen? Is anybody else having an issue seeing my screen? Yeah, that's it. That's all I got is a white page on the black background right now. <clears throat> okay. So, um, but, but this is where you find out what the size is that you're using here. And if you need to do that, there's, a, what was it called? Pixel Ninja? Is that what we've been using? I think it's Pixel Ninja. All right. Yeah, I think it's Pixel Ninja. Let me type it in up here and we'll find out. That's it. Oh, it's Ninja Units. That's what it is. But this is where you convert pixels to inches or inches to pixels. And just use one, just pick one of the converters here and do that. All right. That's how you get clarity on that. Um, I had a little fun with this today. I, I, I'm in another group where. Um,
And I've been using this frog for the announcement every time, uh, whenever there's a, whenever we hit a milestone. So I had that frog, frog was available today. So now here we are, <clears throat> we're back over here. And um, I'm going to take that image that I had before. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this as a custom size. I'm gonna take that image that I had before, I'm gonna upload it. And you'll see what I have when we do this. Give it a second to load. So see here, I, I've got a, I've al I already have a problem in that 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 does that's not half of my screen. All right, it's not half of my screen. Um, it's what it's doing is it's, it, this is a really really large image, but it's trimming it down to fit inside of the borders of the of the uh, available work area. Does that make sense to everybody? A question came up in the group the other day that um, it's resizing my image. Yeah, it's making it fit in the available space. And I, I, I didn't realize that that might, could be confusing to somebody. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this image. And the very first thing I'm going to do with this, let me get this so you can see. And I can see the chat at the same time. Move that over here. Adjust this just a little bit. So, <clears throat> because this doesn't come to the middle part of the screen here, uh, I, I, what I want to do is I want to make this image just a little bit bigger, which I can do because it's a really large high res image. Um, and so, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm looking for it to become about the center of that, uh, of the. Uh, and see, that's there's my there's my grid giving me the image. Make sure that you understand how to use these tools up here. I want to show the off canvas elements, and that allows me to be able to find that corner and move it up here. So now I have that image half the size of the screen. Everybody with me? Does that make sense to everyone? It's the only time I ever turn the grid line on is when I'm trying to find the middle of that page. Now, I want you to watch something because this will address the tiny image thing in, in just a minute. How do you move tiny images? I've selected the image. I want to move that image so I, I put the, the dude in the middle. I want to put the dude in the middle in the middle, right? You all understand that? I'm going to use my arrow key and I'm going to move it. So when you select the image, you can actually move the image around with your arrow key. Okay, everybody got that? So the answer to the tiny image question is that you can use your arrow key at times to move an image that you have selected or a, an element that you have selected. Okay, so your, your arrow key does work to reposition your stuff. Now, <clears throat> I have to take this image and duplicate it because I'm going to make it a reflection. Right? Duplicate key. Here's my reflection. I'm going to flip it there. Now I'm going to line those up. So far, so good. Make sense to everybody? Now, there's a couple little enhancements that you want to do. Yeah, it literally moves one pixel at a time. One, one touch of the arrow key moves at one pixel at a time. So you can, you can get micro adjustments done there really easily. <clears throat> so I'm going to select a lower image, and I'm going to reduce the opacity on it. Part of the issue with reducing the opacity on that image is what? What's the challenge that I'm facing here? Anybody know? My background color was white. And so that makes this reflection here bright. 
because I have a white background image. So let's play with that background image for just a minute. I'm going to show you some things that you can do with this background image that are kind of amazing. Go over here to the background image, and I'm now going to make this a gray color. I'm going to move that down here. It's better, right? Now, what's my opacity here? I've got that at 69. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's make that about 55. Looks a little better, right? Now, we can get more creative with the background. Okay? Let's do this. Don, I knew somebody was going to say that because it went through my head the moment that I said that. Now I can do this. I can take the gradient. Do you see what happened? Let's go over here. And this time, my I want to make my top color. I want to make that lighter. See what I'm doing with the gradient image? How cool is that? And I can make that secondary color come over here and I can keep making that lighter as we go. Depend now, the reason for the gradient, and you notice I'm using the arrows here. See that? The reason for the arrows is, is that this color is on one side of, of the image, and this color is on the other side. So when I flip this, you can see what that is. See, that's now I have the light color on the, on the bottom and the dark color on the top. I have the dark color on the bottom and the light color on the top. Now, if I turn this over here to white, now, look what's happening to my color here. So this bottom color has got to be, and it's all the way down. It's as black as it can get. I'm going to play with this now. We're going to have some fun. All right? Y'all with me? You understand what we're doing? We're changing the color of the background. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to have a little bit more fun with this because I'm going to take this image down here and I'm going to reduce the opacity of it. Again, I'll make that significantly lighter. And I'm going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to line that back up perfectly and I'm going to increase the opacity over the top of it. That kept this from changing color as much. Do you understand? We're just starting to play with this. Everybody with me? Any questions so far? Why did I do that? I'm about to show you. You're about to find out. I hope you're as excited about that as I am. Now, this is where that micro adjustments comes in very handy. Because if I take that off just a tiny bit, then it looks more like a reflection. All right? And I have the two lower images because... I've changed the opacity here, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slightly blur 
that top image. You understand? And I can play with the opacity of this top image until I get what I want. Because remember last week, the question came up, then when, when you use the blur tool, does it apply to the entire image or just to the edges? Well, it applies to the entire image. And so blurring that over the top of it allows me to be able to make that more like a reflection. Cat, you've nailed it. Tiny changes make a big impact. Now, how do you think that's going to look? Let's go back over here. Make that a product cover. Now we just turned it into a product cover. Anybody understand why I turned that back into a product cover? Because I want to do this. This has the, we have this, um, when I want to see what this is going to look like as a product cover, I click the eyeball right there that says preview. So I'm going to preview this as a product cover. Boom. How's that look? Now, you can take a look at this. Put it like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, any questions about that? Can you take the angle of the 270 degrees as a test? I'm not sure what you're asking, Rob. These are all fixed. I can't, I, I can't make any adjustments to this whatsoever. They're just a standard static mock-up. If that's what you were asking. Now we can do really interesting things with this. Okay. Now there's one thing I might want to do to this. Um, and that is take my filter tool right here. And maybe I want to do this. What do you think now? I don't have any idea what angle tool you're talking about, Rob. Again, depends on what you want to accomplish. And I can literally set the mood for the content by this. And reduce the opacity, use the filter in that way. Now, I kind of like this, but I don't like what this does down here. All right. So does anybody have a suggestion for how to fix that? Right here. I'm just moving that stuff on and off the screen. There's not a way to split the image filter. So what do you do if you can't split the filter? Overlay, exactly. That's what you do if you can't split the filter. You put an overlay on. So you come over here. You grab a box. Grab the corner of that. Move it over here like this. Now, this is going to have the filter applied to it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll make it black and I'm going to reduce the opacity of it like this. That changes a little bit. The other thing is exactly what Michelle just said, and that is I can download it, upload it again. Now it's an image. Shall we see that? Get rid of this. I'll download this. Remember what I said from last week? I'm just going to leave that called Uzan because that's getting rid of the other images. Now I'm going to upload this. Now, do you see how easy it is to reproduce that? Now I have this here. Go through the same process here. Well, that's why we do this, Sharon, is so that people will learn. That's why we do it. Now I'm going to change the color of this. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to reduce the opacity as far as I can. I'm going to look at it the way I'm going to present it to the public. What do you think? So see, there's some really interesting things that you can do. I have a little thin black line down here at the bottom. That's because my rectangle is up a little bit high. I'll change that. I got that off my thing just a little bit. And when you put an image on there, I recommend that you go back over here and you make the original background. You, you make that now transparent, okay? That way you're getting exactly what you expected to have happen. There you go. What do you think? I always enjoy doing this because this was my very first paid gig with Uzan uh, back in the fall of 2015. And so it's always fun for me to do this because it, 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 it takes me back to that same place. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, two options. I have just enough time. I'm not. I'm not going to give you an option. I'm just going to delete this. I'm not going to get an option this time. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go over here. Anybody have any questions that they want me to address? We'll take care of that. Well, Michelle, I said, I'll give you an option. And then nobody responded within that three seconds. So I took it off the table. I'm just kidding. Now, for some reason, I'm not getting barn doors. I had this happen to me last week when I wanted to do this. I'm not misspelling barn, am I? That's probably my pot. That's a strong possibility. Now, if anybody has a question, ask away. Because if not, I'm just going to keep. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Wow, got really quiet. Man, this is loading slow. So let's take our donkey friend here. 
there isn't a way inside of designer to tell how many layers are there. This one's a dead giveaway because that's obviously uh, a multi-layer picture, but I can't take the layers apart. <clears throat> and when I, when I completed that book cover a while ago, while it had multiple layers in it, I can't take the layers apart. Um, and there's not a simple way to do that. Usine doesn't have the ability to be able to identify the layers other than just by clicking on them while we're still in the in the edit mode. But it's not easy to do that. <clears throat> so this was this was our friend the donkey here, and um, we noticed the problem with this is, and it's obviously a layer because there is no shadow to that donkey. And it's very obvious to me that the sun is on the backside shining into the door, right? And if that's true, if this picture was taken inside of here with that donkey looking inside of the door, then this, this would basically look like a silhouette, correct? So this image seriously does not look like it's supposed to. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and that bothers me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the few minutes that we have and I'm going to play with it. Um, I, that's an option. I could definitely do something with this, with this block right here. Um, and, and let's do that just real quickly because that is definitely an option. Getting it at that angle is virtually impossible, but I can do that. Really close. Really pretty close. So we'll put that. You can see it's uh, it's it's a little cattywampus there where I come from. That's a real word. Um, I'm actually going to make this in three sections because I got an issue with this this threshold right here. But if I take that, again, this is a layer thing that you can do. I can take that. I'm actually going to pick this color right here. Let me get that color right there. Oh, that's too dark for the brick. No, it's not it's okay for over here. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to play with it. I'm going to reduce the opacity like that. And I'm going to blur the overlay. See, the problem is this, this threshold right here kind of gets in the way of that, but I can creep that up close to the threshold and do that. I'm going to duplicate that image move it over here, rotate it to accommodate that doorway. But no matter what I do, it's not going to look perfect. It's going to look like I patched it together, right? So what I'm going to do now, if I have time, is I'm going to cut out the donkey, okay? So we we'll go to the erase tool. I don't like calling this the background erase tool because it has two. It has too many other things. Okay. Too many other uses. Yeah. You could put an ellipsis in there and you could play with that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to change the donkey. <clears throat> This is how we're going to do it, okay? Um, because no matter what you do, you're still going to end up with this is going to look a little funky. Just going to look a little funky in there. So I'm in order to do this, I'm going to have to shut this off. <clears throat> and what I want to do is I want to I want to save everything that's not that's not donkey.
we're going to do a donkeyectomy. I'm going to make that a little smaller so I can get in the spots where I want to go. Now, do you see that? We'll call that done. Now I have this, all right? What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to make that fit the background. Still not going to fit the background. I can't change this at all. So I want to make the background black. See where I'm going? Yeah, I'm not worried about the right foot, and I'll show you why. <coughs> One thing is I couldn't get my little cursor button in there. The other thing is you're not going to see it when I get done. So <clears throat> now I'm going to save this. And you can download this as a JPEG. I'm going to upload it. And literally, it takes me a lot longer just to explain to you what I'm doing than it does to do this. All right, that should be uploading my file. Why are we not uploading the file? Oh, it's there. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, background erase tool. Wait a minute. It didn't upload my file. The reason why I still see that is because it's on the black background. Let's try this upload the file again. This is it, because it has the little silhouette. Turn the donkey into a silhouette. For some reason, all right, I got a better idea. I don't have to download this. Y'all see this? We're going to go back over here to the images. Have another idea. Back to the integrations. Grab the donkey image again. This time I'm going to Leave my donkey. Now do you know what I'm going to do? This is an experiment. See if this is going to work. Somebody just nailed it. We think. Play with it just a little bit. You got it. Reduce the opacity a little bit more. Maybe even put a tiny blur on it. What do you think? Now, the thing that's missing is and that's why I wanted to cut out the donkey a while ago. The thing that's missing is it needs to have shadow down here. 
So you're going to have to play with me because I don't have enough time to be able to, to, to do this. But this same image right here, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to flip it. I'm going to put it right there. And let's just assume for a moment, just assume for a moment that that was black. All right. I might be able to. Might be able to do one more thing here to this. That would be an improvement. Now I'm not dealing with the doorway. Pull this all the way over here. Take a random color close to that. Reduce the opacity of this. And then if I had had the black, I would have just literally blacked that out. Make sense? Joy, thank you for noticing that. Because I do, I do need to get rid of that. But I'm, I, I'm not. There's one thing I could do. All right. Um, and I would need to have this, but I could just lop off this end of the donkey with the crop tool. All right. Let's see if we can do that. Take the crop tool. Ah. You want the replace tool? I want the crop tool. Is it going to let me crop that? Nope, won't let me crop it. I would if I'd had the uh, the the donkey a while ago. I could have cropped it. All right. Any questions? Did that work for everybody? You understand the steps that are involved in that? Like I said, you'd have to you have to play with me a little bit, make sure that you understand that this was supposed to be black. But literally, you can have a lot of fun doing this. It doesn't take very much to do that. You can have a lot of fun doing it. And um and and you know, I it goes back to my my very first image that I got paid for. That's just how much fun was that? There's two things that are really fun about that. One, somebody paid me for it, and the other thing was it was a virtually impossible question. Can you make a cover out of this? Well, no, I can't put a square peg in a round hole. Wait a minute. What if I change the size of the hole? <laughs> and that's what we did. So I actually changed the size of the peg. Um, but by, by creating a shape. We've done this a lot. These are really a lot of fun um, to be able to do these reflections. Uh, I've done it with lots of things. The challenge that you have is that we don't have any way to uh, particularly when it's water, and you saw that a while ago with the guy over top of the water. If you blur the image, you kind of offset it just a little bit. You kind of get that 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 glassy surface that you would have without um, without any issue whatsoever. But you have to work at that just a little bit. All right. If there are no other questions, then I'm going to wrap this up and get on to my next thing. But you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe. And we'll talk to you next week, same time, same place. If we're going to do the ISO career, I'll let, I'll let you know. But I'm probably not going to do this on Friday. I'll probably do it in a separate meeting because uh, I think it would be it would serve the other it would serve the people who have the ISO creator better than taking up everybody else's use that space for this. Okay, all right. Thank you. Have a great weekend. I look forward to talking to you next week.